At first, nothing too explicit with a few jokes here and there, until one of my girlfriend's friends forgot a detail about her ex, and suddenly pulled up her notes app to reveal a list of what seemed to be guys' names and brief descriptions. She starts scrolling until she finds him and starts going into what their relationship was like. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologues, quick and dirty, number eight. Before we get into it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell, signaling success in becoming a patron of wisdom. Now, let's dive in together. I, male 21, have a girlfriend female 20 who has a record of all the guys she's been with. I think it's creepy, but her friends disagree. My girlfriend 20 has a record of all the guys she's been with, including intimate details I find disturbing. Am I the a-hole if I break up over this? I and my partner slap to the back of the head. Stop it with the socially conditioned gynocentric language. She is not your partner. She is your girlfriend. I and my partner attended a small get-together last weekend with some of her friends, and the topic of relationships came up. At first, nothing too explicit with a few jokes here and there, until one of my girlfriend's friends forgot a detail about her ex and suddenly pulled up her notes app to reveal a list of what seemed to be guys' names with a brief description. Okay, I find it interesting that more and more women are keeping lists as a matter of pride of all the men they've ducked. Yet today, we all know what would happen if a man did that. Frankly, I don't care who you are, such detail lists are not cool. He continues. She starts scrolling until she finds him and starts going into what their relationship was like. My girlfriend sees this and gets out her phone too. I take a glance over to see a similar list with the corresponding number ranking next to each guy as well as intimate details, including S-word fun, his private parts, his interests, etc. And they begin sharing stories and comparing their past relationships. At the time, I was trying to be chill, but deep down I felt weirded out slap to the back of the head. The fact she has such a list and pulled it out in front of you shows you how much respect she does not have for you. Her actions tell me she knows you are a nice guy. You are grateful to breathe in the air she exhales and she not only has got you, she knows for a fact she can manipulate you. Why do you think she keeps you around? Do you think she would pull this crap on Chad or Tyrone? Hell no. They would not put up with such blatant disrespect, and she knows they would have gotten up and left her ass there and told her, we're done, honey. After the party, I told her on the way home, I thought it was kind of strange to me, to which she called me insecure, saying that pretty much all girls have a spreadsheet or a list of their dating history. We got into an argument and she said some hurtful things, commenting on how I'm pretty much at the bottom of the list when it comes to my male member size. 
I feel like it's creepy to write about someone's genitalia like that. Now I'm worried about my privacy. Am I the a-hole if I break up over this? Okay. No, brother. You are not the a-hole. She is. This female has your number. Did you not see the manipulative attacks on your ego and sense of self? Let's see. Gaslighting. All girls have a spreadsheet or list. Ego attack. She called me insecure, and when she felt she was not getting her way, she went all scorched earth on you. Didn't she say, and I quote, she said some hurtful things, commenting on how I'm pretty much at the bottom of the list when it comes to your D size? Pay attention, guys. I did say pay attention, right? Pay attention to your girl's friends, who they are, and particularly how they behave. I do not care how hot, sweet, kind, or sexy you think she is. If her close girlfriends are carousel riders, divorced, or blue-haired, tattooed, nose-wearing, gender studies majors who need no men, then she is too, and you are being conned. Sooner or later, her friends will be the source of the sabotage in your relationship, especially when she becomes happy spending more and more time with you and not with them. The moment she pulled out that list, you should have gotten up pointed to the phone and said in a clear, firm tone, broaching no argument, that crap is unacceptable and that tells me who you are. Bye and left. Women do not respect weakness. If she doesn't respect you, she won't love you in the way a man needs to be loved. I suspect you're one of those guys who is so grateful to have a woman, you immediately treat them like a celebrity, and in return, they treat you like a fan. Dude, you dodged a bullet like Neo. Forget her. Move on. Focus on yourself, your career, your mind and body, and become the catch that women seek down the road. In the comments below, give this brother support, advice, and tell him what you think. What are the takeaway lessons I've missed here, guys? I look forward to reading them. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this video with at least two friends you think needs to learn its lessons. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online and you think I should cover it, send the whole story and the link just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This includes your own personal adventures you want advice or perspective on. This way, others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and to support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, because we all have things to do, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up which helps me create more content.